I'm so happy to be here. Um, thanks for watching. And yeah, I'm super excited about today's lesson. I'm going to do something um, super different today. Even my, even all my students um, with awesomeartschool.com haven't had this lesson or seen anything like it. So I'm very excited to um, breathe a, a big breath of fresh air for everyone um, who is otherwise normally used to me. Um, ha ha, something new for all of you. And hello to people that I've never met before. Uh, my name is Karen Campbell and I'm super excited to be here today. Um, I have a really fun, simple lesson today and it's gonna be come in two major parts. Um, the first one is drawing and coloring and we're gonna be doing co -co 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 cocktails. Okay, they're one of my all-time favorite things to draw and drink. <laughs> um, but summer's coming, it's really warm. I live in North Carolina, it's really warm now, and um, I feel like it's coming. I just came back from uh, St. Lucia, so I'm feeling my tropical drink vibe is still ringing true. Um, I also, um, these are great sellers for me at craft shows as well. Um, I make a lot of, we're not doing these, but I'll segue into that in one second. So, um, People love them some drinks, right? They love cocktails. They, they're 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 colorful. They're delicious, um, and they actually um, they actually make great art too. So we're gonna do a really fun, simple project, um, but it's gonna be in two parts. The first part, like I said, is gonna be drawing. The second part is um, we are gonna be turning all of these wonderful drawings. We're gonna do four today um, into coasters. Okay, and I'm gonna show you. Um, my my completely um, tested and tried and true recipe for making coasters and what's what I'm excited um, to show you about this is that you can use that part of the lesson to really transform any of your works any doesn't matter into coasters um, and I've done it for a long time I've sold almost Every single thing I've ever made a coaster I've sold them at stores I've sold them at craft shows I sell them on my Etsy shop and the reason I'm sharing my big top secret awesome method for making coasters that I've just recently just become so busy I can't actually make them anymore <laughs> so I've taken them all off my Etsy shop which means that the world is open to my secret and I'm gonna show everyone exactly how I make them they come out beautifully if you follow the directions so th I'm very excited to bring those to you today so um, that's gonna be like lesson two step two so you can either skip past the drawing of the cocktails and go right to how to make coasters from your own artwork I will not be offended if you want to do that or you can make um, you know you can make artwork and you don't have to do cocktails by the way you can do anything you want you can do any sort of drink right um i've done all all sorts of alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages um but you can um this also the the cocktail drawing part works fabulously with watercolors um and that's what i typically do use but i'm really feeling my um my markers today it's just they're brighter they're more summery and so that's what I'm gonna do so if you want to do watercolors I would grab your watercolor paper and if you're gonna do markers with me I use alcohol based markers you can do Copics but I have all sorts of alcohol based brands and it doesn't even have to be alcohol based you could do uh, pit pens if you have those um, so grab a medium of your choice and we're gonna need to use square paper though that's key so if you're using watercolor go ahead and cut it down to a square that you're comfortable with I like the 8x8 size it's just kind of comfortable um, same thing if you're gonna use markers with me I recommend using either Bristol paper or cardstock yeah you guys ready all right cut your papers down you want eight and eight inch eight by eight inch squares and I will meet you in the classroom all right bye Okay, so I'm gonna cut my paper down to size really quickly. Got my eight inch. I guess this would be half, eight and a half by eight and a half. Okay, here's two sheets of cardstock. All right. So, just to note of materials, I said before, like, um, that watercolors were great, and they really, really do. I tend to do watercolor and pencil. 
okay? Um, just note that when you go to make your coasters, that it it's comes up a little more lightly, and people don't seem to care. They, these have all sold for me, every single one. So I wouldn't worry about it. Just kind of make a mental note that it will appear to be a little bit lighter. Whereas like this one, see how that Sharpie really, um, it really pops. So I'm going to do Sharpie with my new set that I'm going to be making. Very excited. Um, but I am going to start with pencil just to get our, um, you know, designs down. All right, word to the wise. It is really hard to make these glasses freehand if you haven't done it and practiced a lot. They're just like faces you need to kind of, you need like that muscle memory to make these shapes well. And I personally don't mind mine being wonky, but if that's really going to bother you, then I would go ahead and go on, you know, Google martini glass, print some out, and I would actually maybe trace it for this exercise just because that way you won't be super aggravated. And actually, you know what I'll do for you guys? I will, um, I'll go ahead and just put PDFs up in the classroom um, so that you can even, if you want to print these out and trace them, I could care less. You guys have my, my total permission if you want to just do that for the shapes. If you don't have a light table, which most people don't, just go up to a window. It'll work even with heavy cardstock, right? Go up to a window, whoop, and you should be able to trace that beautifully because we don't want to spend all day struggling with forms. That's no fun. So... Um, with that being said, um, I have drawn a hundred million of these, so I do have, um, you know, I feel, I feel good about my, my, my muscle memory doing me some favors that, you know, it is not perfect, <laughs> it is not perfect. Sometimes I do a lot of erasing, but let's get our basic shape. If you're drawing with me, um, right now, um, if you can see, I'm starting towards the top of my page, and I do kind of love me a long stem. As you can see from this one, it's pretty long, right? Um, but it, you can do a, a pretty even, you know, you can do a tr aim for a perfect triangle. You can, if you have a triangle template, you can certainly use that. Um, and there's always a lot of erasing. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I always do everything in pencil, and then I'll trace it over in my Sharpie. Okay. Do, 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 do. And yes, I like to talk to myself. So this one is a little lower than I would like, so I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to inch it up a little bit. So let's start, let's see, what is this? That's maybe about an inch, an inch from the top. <clears throat> Okay, and then I make my triangle on either side. And now that I'm like filming, I can't draw one to save my life. <laughs> the struggle is real, people. Okay, now we draw a little stem down, and I like a super tiny stem because I think it looks like kind of cool and exaggerated, and you go almost all down to the bottom. Now, I notice that this side is like off, but you know what, whatever. I'm also a big fan of saying whatever. <laughs> this is not our life's work. This is just a fun martini glass. All right, and this one's pretty wonk. Fantastic again though, you know, it's, we're only human, so good enough, and then I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to outline that. I love, this is my favorite Sharpie of all time, they're cheap, um, I just like the thickness of the, of the um, tip. And I'm just going to find my lines and go over them. You can also like do a little curve up here on the bottom. Sometimes like I need a place to stop my line. So that gives me a nice solid foundation. 
And sometimes I'm doing like I'm doing now, which is I'm sort of ignoring my pencil and I sort of, then I get the flow. Since I've already done it a few times, my hand's like, oh yeah, I remember now what we're doing. And you really don't need to do anything more than that. And is it not, is it perfect? No, but I actually kind of like, I like when things appear that they've been hand drawn. I'm sure you all, as being artists yourself, probably share my appreciation. So I'm just gonna erase. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah. Phew, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> excuse me, that is not very professional. Okay, so, <laughs> so grab some fun colors. Um, I like Spectrum Noir because they're cheaper, way cheaper than, um, than Copics. Um, so, and I just pick them up, you know, with a coupon, whatever, whatever, uh, color family that I'm craving. I get these at AC Moore. Michael's has Spectrum Noir too. But there's actually like, they've been this burst of alcohol based markerness lately. Like, um, I think. Premier by Nicole sells them. I've seen them at Tuesday morning recently. And so the thing with alcohol-based markers is you gotta kind of move pretty quickly. Ooh, we could leave it just like that. Um, so what color is this? This is FL1. That is one thing I have to say about Prismacolor. I mean, Prismacolor. Spectrum Noir has like the lamest color designations in like that you've ever heard of like really FL1 this is like the funnest color in the world and the what you all you can come up with is FL1 that is ridiculous if you ask me okay so then I'm gonna draw a little lime and you can do like a quarter lime or a three-quarter lime or a full circle lime this one can be a little bit more challenging, but again, try try to kind of think less and draw more. I'm just gonna do like a little curved line up in the corner and then meet up with the side here. And sometime, you know, you can make it really basic or you can make it have more detail. It's It's really up to you. And again, I'm gonna outline it with my Sharpie. Everything looks better outlined in Sharpie. Ever notice that? And somehow it disappears magically into the glass. <laughs> okay, and then I have a fun color. This color I've had the Spring Green by Prismacolor. Um, you can still definitely buy Prismacolor. Um, markers. This one is from the year 2000 when I was in graduate school <laughs> at Boston Architectural College. It still works. <laughs> I still use it all the time. So while these markers are expensive, this one is Spectrum Noir LG5. <laughs> yeah. Um, they last Apparently a long time. <laughs> okay, Voila! there's our cutest, cutest little martini. If you want to add some little, you know, you can add some like fizz. Not that there's a whole lot of fizz in martinis. Not that I would know. Oh, I guess this would be a Cosmo. But Cosmo is a fancy martini, really. Okay. Um, and then the only other thing I loved, I love me like a shadow line at the bottom. It just plants your whatever you're actually drawing. It doesn't even matter what it is. So I usually just take a gray. This is hobby color, which I'm sure you can't really get any more like non-professional than that. But I guess what? I picked it up. They were really cheap and works for me. Um, this is cool gray three. So. I just do a swatch of a line. I kind of like it to fade out more like this one, which I just, which fades out a little bit more rather than having this like <laughs> awkward thing. So you could change that if you wanted to. 
but I really don't want that's a little bit better I just take the edge off of it so it's not like a blunt edge there and then that makes me happier so you can do a couple of things so if I was doing um, watercolor for this drawing and by the way, you can do Sharpie with a watercolor too. That looks awesome also. I would totally do some big old flip, flickies right now. Uh, paint splatters look awesome. And they look awesome on your coasters too. Okay, so go nuts with those, those paint splatters. They really add a lot of funness to your drawing. Since we don't have paint splatters, so sad. We can do, um, you know, we can do circles and dots. Okay, so you can freehand, you can do some, oops, you know, you can do some small ones if you want to. If you feel insecure about that or you're super type A and you want like perfect circles, I am not. <laughs> I am like type F, so I actually don't care, but, um, there's, that is nothing wrong with being conscientious. You can, you know, grab like a template and do some cute shapes that way. You can also fill these in. My bullet tip is definitely wearing out. Um, let's see. But this one even, I've had this circle maker actually I, I call it a circle maker with my kids, but I've actually had this since that same, my same, my back in my graduate school days. Okay, so if you want to be real precise, it does make, it does make it easier. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to color this one in. Okay, boo boo boo. Oh my gosh. Too many tips. Too many tips to deal with. Um, so anyways, you get the idea. That one's like too dark. It's my spring green. So anyways, have fun and add some polka love since we can't splatter it with our paintbrush okay and you know I like to do kind of like an even distribution um, which is we're getting there normally I don't see this is the problem with the templates with me is it kind of slows me down and I'm sort of better if I just like jump in and go for it all right and not last but not least we are going to Text always adds just like a nice, it adds meaning, it adds relevance. Um, maybe we can just do like boop, boop, boo. How happy is that? So happy cocktail. Cocktail hour, except it's nine in the morning here. Um, okay, and then I usually stamp, you know, stamping. I have terrible handwriting, so I always, always, always stamp. So grab some cute stamps. Um, I use all sorts of different stamps all the time. This one is a really fun one. Oops, I almost did that sideways. That would have been so, so Karen to do that sideways. And guess what? I would have just kept it. <laughs> Cause, and you could do Cosmopolitan. Sometimes that's fun too. I can't find my M, there it is. Oh, see, my end's all wonky because I think there's something under here. Okay. And there's our Cosmo. It'd be cute to actually have some black polka dots, too. Come to think of it. Um, size. Right. Can I dot them in? But you get the idea. I mean, all of this is optional. It's just mainly for fun. Oh, that's a cute, like, little half circle there. All right, so we have one down. I like to make, when I do my coaster sets, I like to make them um, 
all four of them are always different rather than doing like a set of the same four I usually do four different so that's one um, and then I'm gonna do some more I'm gonna time-lapse them because you might have your own ideas and you don't even want to do any of these but I won't ma I'll make them slow enough so that you can totally follow along and again I'll include the PDF in the classroom so that you guys can um, trace away if you'd like to do that so stay tuned and let's do three more 